So now in this video we're going to make a NPN bipolar junction transistor version of the AND logic gate right there. Both transistors have to be on. That is the main takeaway. So there's the schematic symbol for AND gate circuitry. There's a couple inputs. If it's a two input there can be more inputs and uh, they're usually labeled uh, A and uh, B if there's two of them. I forgot to write A and B on there. But in case we can call that one A and that one B. True table of course is that uh, the only way for the output to be on is for both inputs to be on. Since they're NPN bipolar junction transistors we need to make the base uh, positive enough and ultimately we've got to put some current through base to emitter and it's going to let a lot of current go from collector to emitter. If we uh, put this much current through it, 5 volts through a 10,000 ohm resistor, we'll get uh, plenty of base to emitter current to allow the uh, current going through a 220 ohm resistor protecting an LED. But we have two of the transistors in series now. So even if this one is on, if that one's off, the LED won't light up. If that one's on, but uh, that one's off, again the path is cut off, the LED will not light up. We need both of them on for the LED to light up. Current will flow through uh, that way. When it's to the uh, negative supply, because of the way NPN bipolar junction transistors are, there will be no current from collector to emitter. Current won't flow that way, and uh, so it'll be off uh, completely. And now quickly for some more NPN bipolar junction transistor review. I have the part number there, 2N3904, and there is the uh, pin layout for the 2N3904. There's the NPN bipolar junction transistor schematic symbol. I wrote the uh, pin names on there. Collector is this side here, the top, and uh, emitter is the side with the arrow right there. It looks like the collector side, but has an arrow. It's pointing out for NPN, not pointing in. Base is on its own side of the bar right there, and uh, usually there's a part number next to the transistor. I wrote that. So remember, this could be uh, turned around and flipped and stuff however you want. The arrow is always the emitter across from its collector and base on its own side though. So we have the 2N3904 emitter to the left, base to the middle, collector to the right. If you're using a different NPN bipolar junction transistor it will likely have a, a different pin layout. Unless it starts with 2N it'll probably have the same pin layout. Now when it comes to the true table we looked at the switch version of this. The switch was either on or off and the LED was either on or off. We have a little more going on with the transistors. We can also say on or off since they're transistor switches, but as you can see we're given 5 volts to the uh, base. And so we could say 5 volts as well as uh, 1 and 0. We could either even say high and low if we want to, but the LED itself will be on or off. Again, the terminology uh, depends on the circuitry. So now we're going to look at an actual circuit. shouldn't be too hard to see and I've gone over NPN bipolar junction transistors in this video series before. So we're going to kind of rush uh, through it. We have here a couple of jumpers. You can see on the schematic symbol we got a single pole double throw switch. So I'm not going to use an actual single pole double throw switch. I'm just going to take a single jumper and move it between one of two positions right there. Now when it comes to the uh, base to emitter it does not limit current. So we need a uh, resistor to limit current. We can use a fairly high value resistor since transistors are amplifiers. A little bit of current base to emitter allows many times the current to go from collector to emitter. And we have the uh, 2N3904 here. As I said before, looking at the flat side, left pin, pin number one is the emitter, middle pin, base, and uh, the right pin, pin number three is collector middle pin, pin number two. So if I swivel it this way, now the collector is on top, base in the middle, and the emitter at the uh, bottom right there. And I'll plug it in the board. So emitter to ground, base to the uh, resistor there, and uh, collector to the emitter of that transistor. Wired the same, but here we have the LED. So we got the uh, cathode, the uh, band when you're looking at a schematic, towards the more negative side of the power supply and uh, the anode towards the more positive side of the power supply. That's how you got to wire it if you want it to turn on when uh, power is applied to it, the voltage. 
220 ohm resistor will keep current below 20 milliamps for the LED and prevent the resistor from overheating. Again, did earlier video. So this is one position, two zeros, two zero volts, however you want to say it. Both transistors are off. We can turn that transistor on. Technically, there's still no base to emitter current flow because of that transistor, but we're in the on position for the most part. We are applying five volts. Now I'm gonna turn that one off for sure. Uh, so that was the first and the second. Now we're going to our third position right there to the positive supply. It's still off because one of our inputs are off. We need both inputs on. Need to give them both five volts, however you want to say it, for the LED, our output, to turn on right there. So that's it for the demonstration. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out uh, one of the other videos I post on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.